What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here, today with an update for the Blizzard Jailbreak, which is the jailbreak tool that I have created myself. As you probably remember, a couple of days ago I announced the Blizzard Jailbreak, which is basically a semi-untethered jailbreak for iOS 9.0 and 9.3.6 on 32-bit devices. Now in that video I told you the fact that I always dreamed of creating a jailbreak for iOS 9 on those devices, because those were the devices I started my channel with, and I'm nostalgic for that. And back then when I started the channel I always wanted to be able to create a jailbreak someday and yeah years later I did. Well today I pushed an update to it because the jailbreak is released and it has Cydia and tweaks and stuff like that. You can use it like a normal jailbreak but today I pushed a couple of important updates that makes the jailbreak even better and that is the fact that now we're patching TFP0 on demand by switching this toggle over here patch TFP0 which allows Kloader for downgrades to work fine on this jailbreak as well. In the near future this toggle over here Cydia versus Zebra will also also start working. Right now I'm debugging some issues with it. So this will allow you to basically install either Cydia or Zebra on your iOS 9.0 to 9.3.6 jailbreak. That way you can choose whether you want Zebra or Cydia and you can install whichever you want with your jailbreak. As something new compared to a couple of days ago when I announced the jailbreak is this toggle over here, uninstalled blizzard jailbreak. Now it looks small and stuff like that, it's just a toggle over there, but the code for it is actually huge because iOS 9 doesn't have APFS snapshots those were introduced in iOS 11, so there is no restore rootfs for iOS 9. Every single unjailbreak tool for iOS 9 and 10 and so on had to do it by hand. And so that you can understand how much work went into that, let me actually show you the code for the unjailbreak part. So it starts all the way up in here, the unjailbreak blizzard, and it goes all the way down in here, which is, yeah, that's a lot of code. Those are a lot of files to remove. Yeah, it keeps going. And this is basically it. So this is the whole code for that little toggle over there for uninstalling Blizzard. But this code over here that I just pushed should allow you to basically uninstall the jailbreak, remove Cydia, remove the tweaks, files and M terminal and stuff like that without problem. There might be some leftovers because I probably couldn't catch every single one of them by hand. Most components of the jailbreak, at least 99% of them, should be gone leaving your device to stock. Now for the Kloader, as you can see from the screenshot I posted a couple of hours ago, it works fine. So if you want to use Kloader under Blizzard Jailbreak, you will be able to do downgrades and stuff like that with it because we do export TFP0 now. So the Jailbreak itself is available here on my GitHub account. It's fully open source if you're interested in it. And the uh, releases are available here on the releases tab. And currently the version 1.3 stable is the latest. You would get the IPA file right here and essentially sideload it with your favorite tool. In my case, that favorite tool happens to be basically sideloadly. So I'm going to open it in sideloadly. The device is is connected and yeah that's essentially it that's basically what you need to do it's going to sideload it no problem and you can use it like any other semi-untethered jailbreak now if you didn't see my previous video when i announced the jailbreak definitely check it out to understand more why i created this jailbreak for ios 9 and uh yeah what it can do and stuff like that but you should know that it's a fully working jailbreak for ios 9.0 to 9.3.6 and you can use it it has cydia and you can install tweaks and stuff like that it even has drop beer for ssh included so yeah thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.